when you go to a tournament. Uh, anybody can beat anybody on any given day, and uh, that's what these kids got to believe. They can't sit there and they look at rosters and look where kids play and all that good stuff because guess what? Our kids here in Atlanta, Canada are just as good or better than anybody else across this country and across the world, and they, they got to believe that they can compete. And in 05, uh, the team that we had, uh, yeah, they're household names for the most part now, but back then they were just, just like these kids. They were just, uh, they were just names. They were just bodies. They were just guys that wanted to go to a tournament, have some fun, and uh, do the best they possibly can. And uh, that's what they did. They believed in each other. They believed in uh, what the coaching staff delivered uh, from a game plan perspective. And uh, it showed in 05. And uh, you know what? Um, if you sit back and you go back and think about that now, uh, just, you know, Team Atlantic uh, getting as far as they did and, uh, and, you know, surprising teams like Ontario in the bronze medal game that, you know, you can go through their list of roster and some of those guys that are playing in the National Hockey League. So overall, you know what, they just, uh, they just got to believe in themselves, go to the, uh, go to the uh, tournament with an open mind and, uh, you know, have some fun with it. And, you know what, things will work out for you. You get the bounces and, uh, you, again, you create that excitement, uh, and it's all about uh, motivation. It's all about confidence, and you, you just need some confidence right out of the gate. You get that confidence, you're going to go a long way. Coach, what do you see as the strengths of your hockey club? Well, you know what? I'm going to start right from the back end, and I think we have to. I, I think in uh, uh, both our goaltenders that we selected, uh, first of all, Mason McDonald plays in Bathurst. Uh, you know, he was, uh, he was an early round pick in the queue this year. Uh, he's playing some games. He's playing actually against some good hockey clubs and uh, doing quite well. Uh, the W's probably aren't there for him, but he's seeing the he's seeing the shots. And he's seeing quality shots. Uh, then you got Antoine Landry out of uh, out of Miramichi, uh, New Brunswick. That you know he's a, he's a type of kid that you know he competes. He knows he's got to challenge Mason to get that net, and uh, the both of them are going to compete for the net because if there's no uh, solid number one out of the gate, but they're uh, two kids that uh, are going to compete for us. And as you move out, uh, you know what I can honestly say, we, we, uh, this year we have more depth on the back end than I, I believe we did in 05. Uh, from the perspective of, uh, you got guys like Duncan McIntyre plays in Quebec, Cody Donahue who played in the tournament last year, plays in Rouen, they're playing decent minutes with those two hockey clubs who are very talented uh, and uh, we're, we're excited about that. Then you got kids like uh, Nick Quinlan, Alex Mann, Brendan Nickerson, uh, Tanner McCabe, Michael White, and a young kid by new name uh, Luke Duchenne that plays in Fredericton. That's a highly toted Q pick this year. And uh, so, you know what, we're pretty confident on the back end. Up front, we got a hard working group. Uh, we got a hard group, working group that will, uh, you know, will score timely goals just off their work and off the cycle and uh, bringing pucks deep and being, uh, you know, on top of things. And, and, that's, and that's the thing that we have up front. Is there individuals up there? Sure. There's a kid out of uh, Shattuck St. Mary's that uh, uh, is from St. John's, Newfoundland, that will, has a potential of being the number one pick in the queue this year. Uh, Nathan Knoll, uh, he's going he's gonna to definitely uh, contribute uh, up front. And there's uh, guys like uh, Matthew Highmore out of St. John. We have guys like Josh Pugsley, Morgan Messenger. I mean, the list goes on and on. Everybody's going to contribute in a special way. Uh, our captain, is Cameron Kiley, who plays for the Gatineau Olympics. He played on the team, uh, this team last year, as an underager. So that experience, we're going to really lean on him to uh, come to our uh, tournament and lead these young guys uh, along. So we're excited again to uh, participate in the event, but we're also going there with a mission, and that mission is to win a, win a medal. So.